What's going on, everybody? We are back, and today we're going to be seeing how many packs it's going to take us to get one of the top three most expensive cards from Silver Tempest. Um, we've got about 40 packs. We're going to open 10 today, and uh, yeah, bad start. We're starting out with a white code card, but um, it just so happens that the Rayquaza Trainer Gallery card is the third most expensive card in Silver Tempest. Um, there's, a, there's a growing trend with some of the Trainer Gallery cards actually hitting the top most expensive cards of the last three sets. Um, you got the, oh yeah, no Rayquaza on this one. Oh, that's um, cool. The Rayquaza Trainer Gallery card is sitting just under $50 right now on TCG Player. Um, super cool card. I think it's actually my favorite card of the whole set. Um, to include the traditional alt arts. Uh, I really, really like that Rayquaza alt art. I hope we can pull it at some point. Um, yeah, not Rayquaza alt art, Rayquaza trainer gallery. Um, Lost Origin had a high dollar trainer gallery card too with the uh, Chunky Chew VMAX. I think that one was sitting at about $60 last time I looked. Um, definitely in the top three most expensive cards of that set. Um, no. The uh, the other top cards from Silver Tempest are the Unknown Alt Art. That one's sitting at just over $41. And then obviously the Lugia V Alt Art um, is selling for around $200 on TCG Player. Black Code card. This might yep. be luck here. My favorite card um, is the Reggie Drago Alt Art. Yeah, Ethan's favorite card is the Reggie Drago Alt Art, which... If you exclude the trainer galleries, that would be the third most expensive card in the set at about 48 bucks. Um, really cool card. Uh, the only alt art from Silver Tempest that we have so far is the Skuntank, which I like quite a bit. Yeah, I think, I think it's cool. a pretty cool card. Um, I definitely like... Mm, I definitely like that... There are some affordable alt arts in some of these sets. The um, the Skuntank is like twenty dollars, right? It's very affordable, cool card. I like the cross section cutout where he's crawling out up to. I think there's like a Paris outside of his yeah, little a den. A Paris family um, and he has baby stunkies in there. Yeah, very cool card. But today we're looking for the big ones, um, and that's what we're going to be doing for probably the next mm -hmm. couple weeks. We've got close to 200 packs of cards from the Sword and Shield era. Just about every single set, except for the base set. Um, we've got something from everything here. And we're going to be trying to pull the most expensive cards in the sets. Because what do we got? Hey, Mawile V. Um, because Sword and Shield is winding down. And we still have a lot of cards that we don't have. And if history proves to be true... When Sword and Shield goes out of print, the prices on these alt arts and the more sought after cards are going to go through the roof. Um, especially the alt arts. They are really going to pop. Um, I shudder to think what the Moon Breon going to end up at because $1, I'm seeing that thing going between four and five hundred dollars for a raw card and the Gem Mint tens and the Pristine tens are selling for over a thousand dollars. Um, I don't see that kind of value in it. I think that's kind of crazy. Um, but with a set like Evolving Skies, when there's 17 alt arts, Is that Professor Oak with new hair. <laughs> no, no. Uh, where there's 17 alt arts, Whoa. it's really hard to get that number one card. Cool. Yep, Verizian non hollow rare. Oh, you got a um, Oak Mongo. I'm jealous of that still. But right now we're gonna focus on Silver Tempest. I think we've got. Yeah, probably about 40 packs, 40, 50 packs. Um, and we're just going to keep trucking through these things until we yeah. pull something big. Man, we got a long streak of white code cards here. It's too bad. Only one black. Oh, uh, wildly swept away. Yeah, only one black code card so far. So I don't think today's going to be the day. But there's always a chance with Trainer Gallery, right? The white code card could pull through and we could get that Rayquaza V or the Rayquaza. I don't know if it's a V or a V Max. It's a V Max. It's a V Max. The Rayquaza Trainer Gallery card, which, like I said earlier, my Arrow favorite, my favorite card in uh, Silver Tempest. Arrow 
But Trader Galley. Oh, Trader Galley. Nope. That's no. Two reverse hollow and Yeah. What the heck is that? Kabalion. <laughs> Pretty what cool. The heck is that thing? Um, looks like we got about four packs left here. Um, the Lukia V Altart. It's okay. Um, <laughs> unpopular opinion here. I don't like it anywhere near as much as the regular Lugia V. Um, I think the regular art Lugia V is a better looking card, and I think it's valued somewhere between eight and nine dollars. Yeah, um, we haven't pulled that one yet either. Huh. Um, we What's do Lugia have, yeah, we do have a Lugia V star, um, but I would definitely like to get a Lugia V um, for the collection, and then hopefully oh, a few more. Look how pretty that is. Yep, because. There's a solid Lugia, um, uh, Lugia. solid Lugia deck, deck that's being played in competitive Pokemon. Nice Swirlix. That's kind of a cool card. Um, mm. And it's all built around the Lugia Vs and the Lugia V stars. Um, pretty cool. I'd like to collect some of those. Mine is built around Japanese um, uh, Zoraga V stars. But, Ooh, finally. Um, like this, code card, like, so this is... No, two. We had two black code cards. Yeah, before this. this is... But e even so, we like, three... Three out of ten card. is is not so great. This has been a rough run so far. Hopefully, we can pull some magic out here toward the end. You know why we didn't um, sacrifice a card this morning? But it's a rough... Um, oh, rough opening. It just happens that way sometimes. Um, sometimes the code cards are in your favor. Sometimes they aren't. The majority of these cards are from a booster box that we bought. Dang, um, so there should be nope. some good stuff in there. Archaeops Hollow. That's part of the uh, Archaeopsy Hollow. Part of that Lugia deck that I was just talking about earlier. Um, this card's got some Hollow Bleed on it. That's yeah, kind of cool. Yeah, they had Hollow Bleed that. on the butt. The butt too. See I'm that? So There's. Sorry. Jesus, Jesus! Nice. Look at that cut yep. card though. Oh got another God. another black code card coming up here. Yeah, did you see the um, hollow bleed on the other one? That's why I paused so long on that card. I tried to show you viewers. Yeah, there, it's kind of nice that we got some hollow bleed on that one. Um, you saw it when you threw it. <laughs> let's see what we can get here. Ooh, you uh, see that silver border? Oh, I saw something shiny. I saw something shiny. All right, we, maybe we got something in this one. We no, saw. Maybe Dusty. saw something sparkly saw back something. there in the back. Let's see what we got. Comment yo mom if you think you saw it. <laughs> Comment yo mom if you think you saw it too. Please don't do that. Um, please don't do that. Yo. Hey. Yo. Hey. Nice. Double hitter. I was just talking about this card. Malamar Trainer Gallery and the Lance Full Art. Um, we don't have this card. We have it in Japanese from... Uh, yeah, we have the Japanese version of this card from VMAX yeah. Climax. Yes. And then we have the Japanese. Rainbow Rare version of the Lance Full Art. Um, but... As usual, you know, the the full art versions, the non-rainbows are always valued higher. It's a very nice card. But he's not going to be valued high because right. I don't have Booba. Last, last pack of the day. Um, let's see if we can have some last pack magic oh, here. Uh, Ethan's predicting white code card. It is a white code I card. Um, this would have been a, a real stinker of an opening if it wasn't for that last pack. The double hitter kind of... Pokemon, makes it sting. not sting so much. That was that was a good pull there. Serena is going for a high value. Yeah, the Serena full art trainer is very pricey for a full art. $41? Um, yeah, $41? somewhere between forty and forty five dollars um, for a full art trainer. That's kind of wild, but it's Serena. Yeah, it's Booba. anime waifu. You know, you got to pay the anime girl tax. <laughs> uh, ending it on a low note Whoa! here. Oh, that's cool though. With the Noivern non hollow rare Yippee. um that's 10 packs silver temp is down we're gonna do another one of these soon and we'll see just how many packs we have to go through before we get one of the big bangers bye like, subscribe.